what you're all thinking. I'm a psychic and I can read your minds. Once I start this, you're thinking, boring slide, look at it. There's no colour, it's really wordy, and it looks like a classified advertisement. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you would be right. It is indeed a classified advertisement, but it is not your normal type. If you have a wee look, hmm, what is it? Well, it is normal people just like you and I, but these people are wanting to sell their organs. And they will sell their organs, because these ads, these aren't unique. There is thousands upon thousands of these online right now. Happening right now as we speak. And the worst thing is if you go online, within an hour, you will be able to buy a juicy, fresh kidney for as little as 10,000 New Zealand dollars. 10,000 dollars! Ridiculous! But you're probably thinking, well, this isn't really that relevant in little old New Zealand. Well, you'd be wrong. It is most relevant in little old New Zealand. Why is that? Because New Zealand has the worst rates of organ donation in the world apart from Greece. Last year we had 38 deceased donors, 38. And if you need a kidney, you will be waiting five years on the wait list. And also New Zealand has this little thing called the Human Tissue Act. This act means it's illegal to buy and sell organs overseas. But because of the wait lists and the severe lack of organs, what do people do? They go online where they can actually buy it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Rachel Walsh, and in my master's thesis, I'm looking at organ donation. More specifically, I'm looking at ways to increase the donor pool of live and deceased donation through incentivization and through regulation. Big task for a little person, you may say. I think not. So how am I going to do this? First, deceased donors. What can we offer them? Well, why not the government offer to pay for the funeral expenses of a deceased donor? Because as we know, one third of New Zealanders cannot afford to pay for their own funeral. What are we going to offer living donors? Well, why not scholarships to a university? Why not give the donor money to give to a charity of their choice? Tax breaks. Everybody loves a good tax break. Or why don't we have early release for prisoners who donate their organs? Sounds outrageous. It's actually happening overseas as we speak. And the next biggest thing that I'm looking into is regulating the trade. So allowing the <coughs> buying and selling of organs. What I'm doing in my thesis is I'm modelling it on the Iranian system where they pay their donors for their organs. I know it sounds a bit odd, but it's happening and they're the only country in the world to completely eradicate the waiting list for a kidney. How wonderful would that be for that to happen in New Zealand? So how am I going to make this happen? Well, I'm doing something very, very unique. I'm speaking to patients, to doctors, to medical practitioners, to all the people that matter, people on the wait list, people who have donated, people who have received organs, because they have a real insight that I don't have as a writer, and what you don't have as the reader. They can offer something very unique, and they can critique my suggestions. So that's what I'm doing. That's the most important thing, is talking to the people that matters, who are really affected by this. This is the first time research of this type is happening in New Zealand, and it's really, really important. The reason it's so important is because transplantations really kill people. What kills people is stuff like this, the illegal trade, the wait list, and this severe, severe shortage of organs. And it's so achievable to make it that everybody can get a transplant. Thank you very much.